Data centers are critically important to how society now lives and operates. But these data centers are consuming now almost three to four percent of the total global energy supply. This is a problem. It's not sustainable. We can't keep doing it the way we've been doing business. I think I must have been nine years old, and I happened to live across the street from a paleontologist, and he really got my hands on the rocks. And when you you have something in your hand that's a half billion years old, it's, it's stunning. I became a geologist. I was hired at NSIDC, and as such, they said, okay, uh, you're in charge of this data center. My first, uh, almost first day on the job, we had this uh, situation where the cooling system failed. The temperatures were running out of control. It was the middle of winter. I kind of had an epiphany at that point going, well, guys, it's February. It's cold as the dickens outside. Why don't we just cut a hole in the roof and let the hot air out? Um, you can't do that. Dust would get in. So I thought about it for a little while. I started to see just how much power these things were pulling. So bad. Because we were a climate center, we had to step up our game to say, there's a better way to do this. We had to try. The National Science Foundation came up with a grant for improvements to laboratory facilities. I said, perfect. So I wrote a proposal and we got it. But I'm in no way an engineer and I've had absolutely zero experience designing data centers. So I have to hire an engineering firm. Well, I've got the money, let's go build this thing. Hired an engineering firm, they looked at what I wanted to do, uh, stared at it long and hard and said, this is impossible. It will not work. <sighs> now this was starting to cause NASA a little concern. Dave, how many data centers have you designed? Well, I've never done it. So why do you think you're right and they're wrong? There was times I was concerned. There was times I didn't get a lot of sleep. How can these guys who have been designed countless data centers over 40 years get it wrong? I had a friend, I was able to ask him and said, what do you think, is this impossible? And he said, well, it's never been done. And I said, yes, but is it impossible? And he said, no, I don't think it's impossible. And so we got together, sat down literally in one afternoon. He drew up the basic uh, scheme of how this thing would work. And I said, this is perfect. And the results were staggering. About a 90% reduction. So instead of burning 40 kilowatts to cool this data center off, at peak, we would pull about two kilowatts, 127 tons of CO2 that we didn't release because we did this. We intentionally never patented this idea. We didn't do this to make money, we did this to help the planet. It's been copied now in 12 countries, so, you know, take the idea and run with it. Please do.